welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to discuss and show you what is the event listener in the selenium python okay so event listeners are the set of functions in the selenium python binding right that waits for an event to occur that event may be the user clicking or finding or changing the elements or uh, navigating the URL, okay, etc. Selenium Python provides a listeners. It does not offer details on what to do when an event occurs, right? So Selenium provides some listeners. It does not provide any details what need to do if any event is occurred. Like suppose that if we are going to click, right? So there is some event listener which will execute before as well as the after this click perform. But it will not show anything, right? What need to do? The user must provide all the details of what should happen when an event occurs. So now user should provide the information what need to do before performing the click and after the performing click. Similar type, suppose that one event, navigate URL. So before the navigation and after the navigation, what need to perform, user will decide. Okay. So I will show you all these methods. Now next. There is one class, event firing web driver. This class is a wrapper of Selenium Python and it's provide, and it provides all the methods which selenium provides okay all the methods you can see in event fire web driver which selenium has event fire web driver provides two more functions to register and unregister the listeners implementing implementing class so there are two additional methods available in the event fire web driver using that we can register and unregister the listeners which we will implement Stack event listeners, there are some pre and post event listeners, that's basically that is methods. So to use these listeners, we have to implement. So if we want to use these listeners, what is provided by the abstract event listeners, then we need to inherit abstract event listeners. Okay, so now let me show you how we use this event listener in our Python Selenium code. In our Python Selenium test script, how we use this event listener. So now here I have created one uh, simple test, and uh, you can see there is Selenium Python folder, and I have one test folder, and at the top I have base test.py and conf test.py. In conf .test.py, I have added the fixtures and mentioned the scope equal to class, and here basically I am initializing the web driver and then quitting the driver under the yield. Another test, another file base uh, test, this is blank. Here I mark this uh, pytest fixtures. Here I added the pytest mark use fixtures passing the setup. So this test set of fixtures is available here in the conf test. Within the test folder, I have one file. This is demo test py where I have added two tests. One is the uh, test to search on Google, right? With two set of data. Second data, second test I have here, which will navigate the URL of the Facebook, enter the username, enter the password, and click on login button. Now here I am going to show how we uh, use the uh, listeners. Okay, so as we discussed initially, uh, here there are two. Um, classes one is the event firing list web driver second is the abstract event listener so basically event firing web driver it has multiple methods right all the methods which selenium has right web driver selenium web driver has similar type abstract event listener this is the listener class so here it will trigger the event and this class will listen the uh, events so if I go in this class, you can see there are methods are available, right? Like get, bank, forward, execute script, execute async, close, quit, 
find element, find elements. So all these methods are available, right? Which you can see in the web driver. Now, if I go into the abstract event listeners, here you can see there is some methods, right? Like before navigation, after navigation. Here there is nothing. These are the blank methods. But so that's why it initially is told when event occurred, then listeners do not listeners will not do anything. This is predefined. Now user defines some things which he want to implement. Okay, so let's see how we use these listeners in our test. Okay, so let's create a class. I'm going to create a class my listener. Okay, and import the class right even abstract listener class here import then creating a class my listener and import abstract event listener class this don't need only abstract listeners need here and now as a user i am going to implement the method which is available under the abstract event listener like I'm going to implement these two methods here. Now these two methods override. Okay, let's print here some values so that I can show you the output, right? When this will trigger, we will see the output. Before navigation executed. Similar time here after navigation. Okay, so when this method will trigger automatically and when this method will trigger automatically, basically when we call the driver dot get method, then this method will automatically trigger similar type after the URL navigated successfully done, this method will execute. So let's see. So, so first of all, uh, where we are going to where we are launching the browser right here we need to register our driver object with the event listener let's see how we register so just call the driver equal to event listener then pass here driver object first argument second argument we need to pass the my listener class so let's see so my listener class object we need to pass so first import this from my listener import my listener so this class we need to pass here as the object okay so now when we trigger our automation test because we have registered with the fire event the driver object with the fire event so when we start running right it will automatically execute the uh, methods what we have added here so both method before and after will execute before and after navigating the url so let me run so for that we need to just run the command my test okay enter so it will run automatically all the tests which is available under the test folder Yeah, execution done. Here you can see we are not able to get the output. Okay, let's I use the hyphen s. Now this is running. Output we can see before navigation, after navigation, first is completed, second after and before is running. Okay, so you can see this is automatically triggered this event listener. And let me import some more methods. So we can use before navigation, after navigation, right? Uh, after navigate back, before navigate back. So this will trigger when we perform the back operation. This is for forward operation. So it will trigger when we use the forward operation. Similar type before find and after find we can use, right? This is basically work before driver dot find element and after the find element before click and after click so let me import this so let me add these two listeners
so print before find element after find element similar type before click printing the element object and here also after click so let me run and now you will see these will automatically trigger when it performs the click operation okay so here you can see after navigation we have before find element this after find element the value okay before find element for the second one so this is and when it perform the click right before find the login so let me change this before click on element after click on element after find element now running the test so we can look here before click after click so this is find so here this is also find after before because we are finding here we enter the input then we are going to find and again click on the google search button similar type we have for the others like for facebook okay so now you can see here this this is automatically trigger no need to call these methods right so this is very helpful when we want to perform something before searching for each and every element after searching up the element before navigation and after navigation if we want to do anything we can just call our methods here that will automatically trigger for each and every listeners like for which listener we are calling like if we are calling the before click that will go and execute the code before clicking the element okay so hope this will be very helpful and you understand what is the web driver uh, listeners in the selenium web driver okay if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get the latest videos notification also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching video and let's connect in the next tutorial